guys, it's iTouch Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iOS 5, uh, 5.0.1 device um, using a Windows computer. Now, this process is fairly similar on both uh, platforms. I mean, it's pretty much exactly the same on both the Mac as well as Windows, but I'm going to be showing it to you guys on my Windows 7 PC right here. Now, um, basically, I did restore my iPod so I could make this video for you guys because, as you guys may know, my channel is advertised as a jailbreak help channel and also a channel on which I do make tutorials for jailbreaks. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open up my iPod Touch here and uh, first off, I'm going to go into general about and show you guys that I actually have just restored it. Um, I'm uh, sorry, I have actually... Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I just want to show you guys first off that I am on 5.0.1. So as you guys can uh, see right there, it says version 5.0.1. Now also, I uh, am. Yes, right I'm also going to scroll over and show you guys. I do not have Cydia or anything um, of the sort on my device. No barrel. And if I come back here into settings. Uh, general or whatever you guys can't see I have um, no uh, jailbreak tweaks or anything so I have actually fully restored it now uh, I'm just gonna put my iPod down for a second and uh, show you guys what you need on your computer first off now for both uh, Windows as well as Mac you will need the same files um, so I'm just gonna head on over here to my iOS folder and show you guys now you are gonna need the latest version of Red Snow the current one I believe being uh, Red Snow version 0 0.9.9 beta 8 um, and uh, you guys actually can download the latest version of um, the file in the description there's a link in the description below where you guys can get the file from uh, and you will also be needing your IPSW file but you will need your iOS 5 IPSW file not the 5.0.1 um, IPSW as you guys can see here I do have both of them but you will only need the iOS 5 one because the current versions of Red Snow don't understand the 5.0.1 file um, so make sure you have both those files and let's get started so open up uh, your folder or whatever wherever you do have Red Snow saved now I do have it saved inside this folder here as you guys can see this is an executable file now the next step is for Windows Vista and Windows 7 users only so if you're on a Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer, you have to come over to the executable Red Snow file, right click on it, come down to properties, and you will get this bar, uh, sorry, this box right here. You're going to uh, open up the second tab here that says compatibility, and check this little box that says run this program in compatibility mode 4, and select any of the Windows XP service packs. By default on Windows 7, it should automatically select service pack 3, but if it doesn't, you can just select any Windows XP service pack from the drop down menu. Then all you have to do is hit apply and OK. I've already done that. And it would also be really advisable if you guys uh, could probably run this as an administrator because it do, uh, does help uh, avoid any errors that may come up eventually. So I'm just going to run it as administrator and hit yes. Now you will get this box over here. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, let's slide that up a little bit. Um, you're going to hit this little um, box that says extras. Don't hit jailbreak just yet. Go to Extras and hit Select IPSW. Now you're going to select your iOS 5.0 uh, IPSW file uh, for the iPod Touch. Again, you can get this file um, from, uh, I do have a link in the description to the website where you can pick up this file. Uh, so I'm just going to hit Open and you will see this little box here that says the following build was identified, your build number, and it'll also say it will be used for the rest of the Red Snow session. All you have to do is hit OK. Now being on a different device, you may get a few different um, messages there like on an iPhone 3GS you get a second message saying is this a new version or an old version or something uh, so anyway after you've done that you just have to hit back and then hit jailbreak now it's going to start preparing this jailbreak data and patching the kernel and stuff it's nothing to be worrying about because for I know newbies get a little bit scared when they see these loading bars and things but don't worry guys it means it's working perfectly now, now you will get a couple of options again depending on the version or, or the type of IPSW for which device you selected. Now for me I did select an iPod Touch uh, because that is what I'm going to be jailbreaking here. Um, unfortunately or fortunately I do not want to jailbreak my iPhone 3GS. I kind of just like having it stock along with my iPad 2. But anyway, the first box you're going to want to have selected on Red Snow is install Cydia because that's the most important part. Now you guys can also install a custom bundle. Enable battery percentage and enable multitasking gestures if you so desire. 
Now, what I do recommend doing is enabling battery percentage um, if you guys are on an iPod Touch because it is something you would use. I personally don't use multitask gestures and I do think that they just use up battery a lot so I'm not going to enable them. And I kind of recommend staying away from install custom bundle if you don't know what you're doing. And if you guys are a pro, you probably aren't watching this video anyway. Now, what you have to do, uh, in case you have an iPhone or a different device, you may see install iPad baseband or something. Leave those alone. All you have to do is hit install Cydia. So now I'm going to hit next. Um, now, for people who don't know what DFU mode is, uh, it's something very common in the jailbreak community. It's something everybody has to be aware of. Um, why you're jailbreaking because it's something you're gonna have to do a couple of times especially in this jailbreak because it is a tethered jailbreak so i'm not actually going to get into exactly what a tethered jailbreak is now i may or may not have a little passage on it in the description below but if i do just uh, hit the little see more button and you guys can read up uh, a little bit of what i've written about that so you guys uh, do get a little bit more information about what a tethered and untethered jailbreak are because uh, this jailbreak uh, is tethered so anyway, um, as you guys can see here, uh, what we're going to do now is put our device into DFU mode. Now, uh, Red Snow, if I hit next, actually does have these really nice instructions for uh, new people into the jailbreak community. But what I'm going to do is show you guys a little bit of an easier way uh, that doesn't involve you turning off your device or anything like that. Now, as you guys can see, uh, my iPod Touch is connected to the computer. I have already backed it up. Now, uh, you will not be losing any data in this jailbreak, but it's always a good idea to back up your device before you do any sort of procedure. It is something that I personally do. I've never actually had an error or something of the sort where Red Snow's deleted any of my data, but I still do recommend doing it because it's always good to stay safe, right? Okay. So what we're going to be doing now, as I said before, is putting our device into DFU mode. Um, now to do this, what I'm going to be doing is holding both the, uh, the home button, which is the button right um, on the actual iPod device, um, uh, the home button, the basic button right in the center of your device that takes you home, uh, and also the power button, the button on the top, which is also the sleep-wake button. We're going to press and hold both these buttons together for about 10 seconds till our iPod flashes and um, turns off or... Or whatever you guys want to call it, you're going to surpass the off screen and you're going to go straight to a black screen. And then I'm going to let go of the power button, continue holding the home button until Red Snow recognizes my device. Now, um, there are a couple of different ways of doing this, but this is possibly, uh, possibly the easiest way. And what you guys can do is you can either do it with me or you can, you know, follow along. Or you guys can actually watch me first and then try it yourself, uh, which is generally what I recommend doing for new people. So, let's begin. 10, whoa, sorry about that guys, uh, you may take a screenshot by mistake, but you have to continue holding both these things, so let's begin, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I'm going to let go of the power button, continue holding the home button for a couple more seconds, uh, now don't worry if you guys do get this Apple logo here, uh, that is in case you've made a mistake, and it's probably because I do have this case on, but you can always just repeat the steps, all you have to do, is hold down the home and power button for 10 seconds. And then let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. And you will hear that sound on your computer, and that does mean that everything is going A-OK, -okay, which is a good sound uh, to hear. And you guys will see these loading bars and stuff, so do not be afraid of these. And when you do see a light come up onto your iPod screen, like it isn't completely black, like it's off, then you guys can let go of the home button. At which point you should probably start seeing downloading jailbreak data. I'm just going to put my iPod down for a second and show you guys what's going on over at Red Snow. Now as you guys can see, we are uploading a RAM disk and a whole bunch of stuff like that. Now this is basically installing all the jailbreak files including Cydia and patching your device to work uh, with Cydia and be able to connect to Cydia servers. Now here is something I call I like to call matrix mode. You guys will see a lot of this scrolling test, uh, text going on on your device. You don't have to worry about this. I know it does look intimidating and scary at first, but it actually isn't. What this basically means is all the files are being patched and uh, working on your device. So this is going to take a while. There's also going to be a little phone apple running thingy. Uh, and a whole bunch of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here, and I'm going to be back in a second. 
So I'm just putting on my iPod and I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay guys, so once this process has been completed, what you guys should probably see on your device uh, when you start to unlock, and I'm just going to scroll to my second page and you guys will see this white icon that says Cydia. Now don't try launching it because it's just going to quit out as you guys can see there. And uh, probably so will Safari, uh, or Safari may work but it won't really load much. Or yeah, it's working, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so Cydia will have a white icon but you guys don't have to worry. Now that is because you guys are on a tether jailbreak and uh, more about that in the description below most probably if not you guys may have to research it a little bit is isn't too much different so what you're going to do is hit back on red snow again you're going to hit select ipsw you're going to get that message hit ok now you're going to come up to the topmost button that says just boot now you're going to have to put your device into dfu mode again um, and then it'll run through some processes and uh, it's actually just going to tether boot your device. Now when your device is booting up after that, your boot logo will be a pineapple. But don't worry, it's only for that one time. It won't really change your permanent boot logo. So don't worry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my device into DFU mode and uh, let the process run and be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so once you've run DFU mode and uh, just boot your device, all you have to do is site to unlock. And, well, sorry, hit messages there, trying to get a spec off my iPod. Anyway, you're just going to scroll to the right, and you guys will see that uh, you do have Cydia. Now, this is uh, the regular brown icon uh, that you should see for Cydia. There's nothing different about it. Let me see, get my iPod in a little closer. As you guys can see, Cydia opens up. And now, the first time when you open Cydia, we'll see, you will see this preparing file system, and Cydia will exit when complete, and stuff like that. So this is the point where you know that your iPod is fully jailbroken and ready to start installing all those awesome tweaks you guys can check out on my channel. Um, so anyway guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It is the first jailbreak tutorial on this channel. And um, I'd uh, really appreciate it if you guys uh, could subscribe. Uh, it would really help me out and try to help boost up my subscribers and stuff. And uh, you know, uh, something every YouTuber wants. And something I'm feeling bad that I lost my old subscribers on my old channel about but you know it's not about that on this channel it's just about showing you guys uh, the love for technology and um, just trying to help you guys out so if you enjoyed this tutorial i would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and do check out some of my other videos besides that thank you very much for watching it and uh, i really do hope you guys learned something and enjoyed the tutorial do let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this and um, if you would what type and you know stuff like that Again, this is iTouch Tech, and thank you for watching my video. Also, do remember to check out the link in the description um, to my website, uh, which I am working on with a couple of other YouTubers and some really nice people. Uh, it's a technology-based news website, uh, something like Redmond Pi or iFans or something like that. It's called iDevotees.com, and uh, we're a bunch of people all dedicated to technology. I'm going to show you guys what we know and about the latest news in the technology-related world. So again, I touch tech. Thanks for checking out this video. Enjoy. And uh, if there's anything else for me to say, you guys probably know what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. It's I touch tech. Peace.